Yeah, it's the Archivist, y'all. Exclusively interviewing DJ Premier and Pete Rock at the Red Bull World Finals. All right. And who is the Hall of Fame's heavyweight legendary DJ Premier and the legendary Pete Rock? We're DJs, yep. uh, producers, artists, yep. and we both run our own labels, yep. you know, Soul Brother, Soul Brother and Year Round Records. We're entrepreneurs and all that, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> And out of many collaborations, DJ Premier, you've had a lot of contributions to the hip hop culture. Let <clears> us know about your classic projects from New York Reality Check 101 and what is some of the most noted you'd like to share to the people? It's Premier. I mean, you know, obviously the legacy of Gangstar, the recipes to Guru, continued to grow even with, with the loss of him physically here. Uh, you know, we, we left the legacy and we've been stamped as icons from all of our peers, from Grandmaster Flash to, you know, Jam Master J, RIP to him too. To RIP Heavy D. Yeah, RIP Heavy D, man. And to Trouble T Roy, you yeah. know. We, we've taken so many losses in the hip hop community, you know, cultures from ODB to Pac to Big, even to Slim Duncan, RIP, who just passed away yesterday, you know what I'm saying? We just keep losing all the great ones from Pun to, yeah. you know, it just goes on and on and on to L. And through all of that, we preserve the culture by carrying on what we're intended to do, which is to keep the music fresh and keep the beats coming and keep artists, you know, coming through that, that represent the culture like we do, you know, all the time. And Pete Rock. Soul Survivor, the inspiration behind it. Uh, being signed to Loud Records, developing <clears throat> relationships with like Rich Isaacson and Steve Rifkin, becoming closer to a big pun, you know, after meeting him, being like a real friend. He was a cool cat like that. <clears throat> just being a label mate to all these other great groups like Mob Deep, Wu Tang, you know, so forth. And uh, it was a great experience. I was very inspired just from the artists alone that were on that label. So everything else explains itself. And Premier, recently you dropped a hit with Evidence, but for Cats and Dogs. You, share on the creative process. It's been heavily in rotation. Oh, okay. And I actually made that beat for Buster. I did 11 beats for Buster Rhymes' new album, and every one he passed on, somebody took it. And uh, one of them was YSP. It ended up being You See It. Buster would be like, yo, do one of them stab beats. I made a stab beat. He didn't like it, so it went to the YSP. He said, yo, make something that's got like a little singing sample in it. So I did the U, got the U samples in it. And he said that wasn't it. Uh, you know, evidence say, yo, I need a beat like for cats and dogs. I said, I got something that I just got back from Bus that he's not using. He said, send it to me, let me hear it. He said, he said right away, that's it, I'm gonna write to it and send it back because he was in LA. Sent it right back, and I love the way he versed it and pinned the joint. So we, we got it in, and I uh, just ha am happy to say I did do two for Buster finally that he took that came out really good. One's called Return of the Boom about 2012, and the other one's called the DJ Premier Intro, which is dope. So we finally got it right. <laughs> Shout to Bustle Bus. And for each of you, your top five hip hop albums of all time? Not in any order. Definitely paid in full, Eric B. and Rakim. Boogie Down Productions, Criminal Minded. Uh, I would definitely say EPMD, Business as Usual. Yeah. I would say uh, Run DMC's first album, just Run DMC. Great Adventures of Slick Rick, uh, that's four, right? Um, I would also say uh, Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five, first album, The Message album. Yeah. I'd say, you know what, no, it, Radio, LL Cool J. Okay. And an epic event with the Red Bull World DJ Championships. With you guys together, share on being part of this and documenting the history for Vancouver being yeah. here. Well, I mean, you know, it's an honor to even be asked to be to judge any anything or even to do this, even like the show we did last night. And uh, love our craft, we love our, our culture, and we're happy to be a part of anything that Red Bull, you know, puts in the mix, especially with the fact that they're covering the extension of, of what we do would be as being beat makers and producers and DJs and artists. It's a beautiful thing to have a convention like this and all these people that's in town just for this event, you know, from Z Trip to Just Blaze, Ghostface, yeah. you know, to us, to, you know, uh, shout to my man Shortcut who hit me up and said, yo, see y'all tomorrow, you know, like. Dub C. Yeah, yeah Dub C, Crazy Tunes. Crazy Tunes. Prince in town, the yeah. Watch the Thrones in town, we're going to catch that tonight. Yeah, we just, yeah. that's, even that's on the Humble, we just hit them up and say, yo, we here. Can we get hooked up? And Kanye, his manager, hooked us up to go to the show. And, work. Yes. and your best hip hop memory you've been part of or contributed to? Gangstar. You know, that's okay. that's the most biggest part of my career, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Work. And uh, work. working with Run DMC, <clears throat> let's see how smooth is probably some of my biggest accomplishments. Well, you know, working with Run DMC is 
huge because that was a big. Yeah. I remember we were supposed to be in that video for Down with the King. Yes. We were on the last day of our Gangstar tour. We were on the bus. And I remember Ron kept saying, Yo, how y'all gonna make it? And I remember Naughty by Nature was there, Easy. He was everybody you could think yeah. of was there, and we yeah. didn't make it. They, they had to move on because we were, our bus got we got caught in traffic. Mm -hmm. And, and before you knew it, it was almost three in the morning. Well, I was like, home. damn. And you guys got any shouts? Yeah. Shout to my whole family. Shout to Fat Gary, my manager. Shout to Biggest Gord, Year Round Records. Shout to, to you know, my mommy and daddy, my sisters, my nieces and nephews. Shout to my son, Jalen. Shout to Hip Hop. Shout to my son, Elijah. Shout to my daughter, Sky. Shout to my family at home, moms, pops. Rest in peace. Heavy D, rest in peace. Yeah. Trouble T. Roy, rest in peace. Yeah, guru. The wife and kids. Yeah, RIP Guru for forever, man. Gangsta. And shouts to Red Bull Canada <clears throat> and Fat Gary and Lisa Maxfield. And this is the archivist, and you already know the name, y'all. Love, baby. Peace.